Saw the sights. Saw the sights? Really? Of empty whiskey bottles and women's britches, no doubt. All right. <laughs> what other kinds of sights is worth seeing? All right, they're done talking. Let's interact. I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes, united in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Will you help the others to prepare? Follow. All right. They come. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. And land we shall get. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances, awaiting the day they might strangle us with the new state built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride, to offer them one last chance. The French will leave, or they will die. Why are you yelling? Now is the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. I must ensure that Braddock falls. I'll see sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. All right. We await your signal. There, in front of us. The wood's too thick. At this rate, it'll be days before we reach Duquesne. We should follow the river instead. The truth would be exposed. We're near 2,000 men. One scout is all they need to know of us. And then what? Swiftness would serve us better. Ah, damn. Can't see. Ah. What was that for? God damn. I fucked that all up. Look at these guys. Have served, you mean. Sir, you are grateful to have served. General! What the hell was all that for?
92. Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! Sir. Where are you off to, Edward? Go get him! What the hell? Oh, oh. <laughs> I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! What the hell? Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Don't. Hurry before he gets away. I said go. Just kill the dude. I don't deserve this. And you're over, go son. Yo, out of there! Why, Haytham? Your death opens a door. Nothing personal. Well, maybe just a little personal. Been a pain in my ass after all. My arse. Like brothers. <laughs> you see how they spelled it? Arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. Well, Edward. Why did he take off his hand? He took a ring, but what was on the ring? It's done. Now I've upheld my part of the bargain. I expect that you will honor yours. Homie. <laughs> she can't speak of it, but she can show you. No. No. Well, you need the apple. You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is.